Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, yeah, so I'm, 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 I was away with the G minor. I know. <laughs> uh, welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Lee. I'm Cece. Welcome. Um, before we get into anything, if you could subscribe and you might be able to win something, right? Look at this over there. Our one million subscriber is going to win that gorgeous, very rare actually, Centaur pedal, yeah. which is more worth more than my car. <laughs> Even so, if you've been a subscriber for years and years and years, you still have a chance of winning it. Totally. So hopefully I'm actually in for a chance. I'm going to subscribe. <laughs> oh, no. But uh, yeah, get involved, get involved. And please like the things, like, oh my God, click the things, the subscribe, the little bell. More bass videos up here, but that's enough. That's enough of that. We're here to talk about <laughs> the lovely Galen and Kruger. So uh, we've got some new stuff in basically. And yeah, me and Cece, you get the lovely, lovely opportunity of playing these things for the first time. Yeah. They are be exciting. Yeah. It's their new, new range, isn't it? Well, this is it, yeah. And they've just turned up with us. Um, we've been a Gannon Kruger dealer for a little while. Um, you check out on the channel, we've, we've covered the MB range, which is more of their kind of um, more affordable combos and, and heads. Um, these are more of the complete opposite end. The, the pricey end, as it were, but the top, top of the range. So the highest quality they make. The flashy gold plated range. All, all the gold plated. <laughs> so yeah, none of this tin or aluminium connection things. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the stuff that's, well, aluminium built, made in a dying sun as well. But you know, gold is the, yeah, is the rarer gold. element. Yes. This um, one goes to 11. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and two different flavors. So we got, um, we, we are literally just learning as well because these have just turned up. Yeah. So this, this is our first time with yeah. these, so. So bear with us, bear with us. But um, all the details will be below as usual in the, you know, click below for the full specs, but we'll give you a quick sort of run through. Yeah. So we're doing a more in-depth uh, demo of these as well, but this is just kind of introductory video to yeah. these. Yeah, totally. And if you haven't seen GK or the Gannon Kruger range before, you might like what you hear or, or like what you see as well. So um, just to get started, this one here, the Legacy that I'm, I'm playing through is based on, I'm trying to remember this as well, the <laughs> 800RB, which was uh, released in 1980, which was one of their first amps that they introduced into the market. It says something on there that basically they kind of innovated solid state technology, which I didn't actually know. I didn't know that either, no, that's no. amazing. See, we all learn. We all learn. Um, so apparently they, they really sort of uh, introduced that to the market and it, and it took off. And the 800 is um, one of their classics in the range. That's where you'll see there's different wattages, but they tend to go for this 800 watt. This, yeah. is, this is 800 watts as a combo, which is, which is amazing. amazing. <laughs> um, but this is solid state. The Fusion, you kind of look in, this is more of a tube thing. Yeah, it's a thing. hybrid amp. So it's got a six stage tube preamp. It's got it. three tubes in it. And uh, it sounds amazing. Yeah, don't, I don't know why, yeah, the, the six tube technology thing, but... <laughs> so we'll all find it. It, is, it is, yeah, it's, it's a figure I said, tell us below if you figure out what, what that's all about. But um, <laughs> yeah, so three preamp, I think 12 AX7s you were saying, yep. yeah. Standard kind of preamp valve, but three of them in this thing, so that's, that is pretty meaty. Um, and even just seeing an 800 watt, I mean, I think as it is, you can get about 400 watts out of it. I'm just reading yeah. up, pair it up with the cab, you'll get the full 800 watts. Whoa! But, um, but yeah, to see something this powerful in such a that. cute little little package, really. Yep. That's all very well, but what about the amp? That's ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the amp's lovely too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so yeah, a bit of a flake. So yeah, you've got one speaker here. Obviously, this is the two ten version. That's a one twelve. Um, it's pretty cool. They don't outsource. Seem to be like much. They're all making everything just for their model. So there's. The cabs are built in house. These speakers are built for these amps only in these cabs. So it looks like they've put a lot of work into it yeah, as definitely. well, you know, not sort of trying to skimp on anything as it were, or parts. Absolutely. No. Yeah. And they've been going so, for a long time and it doesn't seem like they've ever kind of let up on the amount of... No, no. That, I, I think I first saw them with Duff McKagan playing yeah. them, like just as a, like a, a brand that I noticed. I remember just yeah. being into them and thinking, who is that and what is that? Yeah. You know, like, but I think you were saying that Flea plays them. So he does, Flea yeah. Uses, yeah. Uh, not anymore. Oh, okay. But that's yeah. a very, very recent thing. He's played them for the longest time. Right. So it's a, been a massive part of his sound. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. That might be an interesting manoeuvre then. <laughs> it's pretty sl his slap <laughs> Absolutely, sound. yeah. Do you know what he's moved to? Uh, we're getting a bit distracted, but. Uh, Ampeg. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, fair play. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. But check out their list. There's still plenty of all your favourite bass players, pretty much. 
you'll have a look. They all play these. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, we should have a have a little playthrough. Do you want to yeah. start off? Sure, I'll, I'll yeah. do some, do, I'll, do you want to uh, do yeah. some dial turns? I'll come around here and I'll do some playing around with the... Okay, so yeah, I, this is my first time playing around with this as well. So yeah, I will figure it out as we go, together. We'll learn together. So uh, let's start on the clean, clean channel. So I'll just play around with EQ. And this mostly is to do with the overdrive channel. So I'll come back to that and I'll do what you did. You said CC, which is use all of these, which have got an extra function in as well when you <laughs> press things. So More bear shaping. with us. Yeah, but you do your thing and I'll, I'll cool. play around here. I love it. How does that fit? Yeah. yeah. How is it like feels, sounding for you? This, yeah, this side? it feels great to play through it as well. There, there's so much to play with there. So I say, I was, you, hopefully you will see. This, I'm just playing with the lights on and off, and yeah. they <laughs> they really do do a lot of different things. You they know, do. you can um, you can tell it could really cut through the mix as well because I know yeah. that's something Guy and Kruger pride themselves on is how well they cut through, and now you can really hear it. Nice. Great, yeah, yeah, that's that's it. And, and for one speaker as well, for one yeah. 12, this is like filling the room, it really is. And and, and it's not lacking on bass end or, you know, not too no. trebly, that's what I get. I've got a 112 um, extension cab. And I just, more and more, I'm thinking, oh, this is too pokey, too yeah. pokey. I want to get I something exactly with a bit more you warmth, you know, so yeah. that, it sounds incredible. And you'll see there, so I've kind of worked out every button you can press and it does something different so if you're on like the bass end it can turn into a bass cut uh the treble equally doubles up as a presence so you can you know a slightly different um sort of take on those higher frequencies 
Um, and then everything on, like everything yeah. as, as the second stage was really filling it all up. And that's yeah. with, with the uh, bit of overdrive there. It seemed to really, Sonic really great. fill up. So uh, yeah. nice. There we go. The nice. fusion, fusion combo. Very so, nice. Beautiful. Shall yeah. we take a look at this? Indeed, yeah. Little legacy. So this is one that more traditional fusions, a bit more new with the, yeah. I say, you say new with the tube technology. Doesn't really work, I know, but and this one's totally solid state, so. Absolutely, solid state. This one, 500 watts, I think they got up to 1200 watts, but check on the website if you need bigger than 500. But uh, yeah, sounds like this. Sweet. Okay, nice. A few th fun things to play with there, is there? Like, yeah, indeed. What right. else we got? So yeah, this is, does seem a lot more simple, just the yeah. one that when you haven't got the push push pull kind of thing. Yeah, it's but, um, pretty much as it, is. It is what you see, but yeah. that, I mean, just feeling it here, just it sounds again just so big for just for two speakers. Um, this is actually less power than that on its own, you know, just for yeah. one one cab, but it sounds as big to me. Just um, to me as well. It really, yeah, it sounds sounds huge. So, um, two different tastes, you know, two different styles. I think you know between the Legacy and the Fusion, between those, you say you've got all the different options of size of heads and different cab combinations, or if you want them as combos. So it's going to be um, just depending on what you're using and what your sort of setup is. Um, I'm pretty sure these are pretty lightweight as well, so they are like gearing towards just being yeah. you know as comfortable to carry around as well. Haven't lifted that one. I'll be interesting to. To Good lift shout. it with the valves yeah. in. Yeah, do you want to give on, it a go? go on, give then. it a shout. Because oh. <laughs> this one, yeah, you think would be a little bit heavier. Oh wow, well, that's actually really. Light. Is it all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And that's coming from me. So. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> and you think, say, for, for yeah, so what's loaded in these? And, and obviously, bass players are used to lugging around these these huge things, but thankfully, it's most a nice of these surprise. Companies, <laughs> yeah, seems to be going just a little bit lighter weight and saving you back our backs, especially. Yeah. Um, so yes, if you wanted this, but in a 410 or a 115 or a 112, they are they are available. But say check online on our site. We've got everything in at the moment, um, everything online as well to have a look at. Ranging in different prices as well. It seems yeah. you know like th there's a, a GK for everyone. Like we've covered before the more affordable range, which seems to start about 500 pounds. These seem to start. I mean, for example, this head here is 749. I had a blank then. 749 <laughs> and 799 for the cab. So you're looking at about 1500 roughly. Yeah. And I, I forget the exact price of this one, but it's around 1500 yeah. price range. Yeah, pretty sure it is bang on that CC as well. So like, cool. so you think, you know, it is higher, higher end of things, um, but hopefully you can hear the quality and um, best thing is to do, if you can come down and try them, that is the best way to yourself. Yep. Just to make sure with your own gear, your own base, to make sure it's, <laughs> It's uh, it's the one for you, but seal of approval here. Yeah, you know. I'm really impressed. Definitely. 
Yeah, and we could we could do a bit more of an overview, like a real in depth. Yeah, exactly. Thing, like, you know, at a later stage. Yeah, we'll be covering these in more in depth. Yeah. For now, it's, it's just a kind of overview and a taste yeah. of things to come. And a hello, hello, you're here. <laughs> you know, we should show everyone. Welcome so. home. Oh, totally. And it's nice to see the higher end of this because we've we've always kept in some Ampeg and Aguilar, and they're all up in this similar sort of range. So nice to see that we're stocking the full range, yeah. as it were. So yeah, nice. But give us a shout if there's anything you need to know. Our, our lovely team here at Anderson's will give you a hand on the phone, online, whatever you want to do. But thank you for joining us. That is Gannon and Kruger. And we'll see you soon. See Talk you soon. Talk more bass. <laughs> <laughs> remember to subscribe. Yes, we're in you the could win. You ah, could win. We're in the centre. <laughs> see you shortly.